A new day, a new project. This is a very trusty Acer V3331 laptop. That's a 14 inch display laptop. I bought this in 2015 and uh, I can say that it's one of those laptops from die hard because it don't want to die it's just working and working and working so it passed through each of my family member and finally turns to be bedroom laptop I can say <laughs> so it's uh, so abused uh, dropped down plastic things missing parts you know getting on the floor and stuff like this but it's still working that's really amazing it's a great laptop the plastic case it's terrible it was so soft from the beginning all kind of cracks and all kind of problems from the first months i may say so now i can't have any screws on the back top on the back lid the single solution was to glue it and uh, you can see over there uh, i use hot glue and uh, now i have to open it up because the wi-fi signal is not there anymore i can see the wi-fi card i can see the wi-fi is around the house anyway but i can't reach them anymore so it's looking like it's something wrong with the card something mechanically has happened uh, maybe a connection a loose connection or i don't know I have to open it up and to see what's inside. The point is that I have to melt that hot glue instead of screws. Yeah, it's funny. I know it's funny, but it's working. You know, so I don't want to throw it away. It's really working. It's easy to carry around. It have a new battery. The battery lasts like five, six hours easily for, you see, for a uh, simply uh, browsing in Facebook and YouTube and uh, emails and stuff like this because it's a small laptop it doesn't have strong processor i laid you down on all these uh, technical details so what i have to do now is to melt the hot glue and i have this uh, soldering pan or iron specially for working with uh, with uh, hot glue and you can see it's getting loose i've been looking for another case or at least parts of this kind of laptop but i couldn't find it uh, on the ebay or something so the single solution was to use hot glue it's working it solves the problem the problem is that when you need to open it up you have to do all this mambo jumbo but like i said so many times improvisation is the art between being fired and being hired so sometimes we have to improvise and fix the things okay so it's looking like the bottom lid it's wide open but there will be a problem i recall the power plug for the power supply it's glued on the bottom lid uh, of course that one was destroyed from the beginning so i had to find a way to fix it the original was impossible to get so i had to improvise again another plug uh, oh yes look there but that's not a problem but it's looking i have to put on my ts100 soldering iron because uh, okay when you contaminate the soldering iron with uh, hot glue then it's almost impossible to to use it for another normal stuff okay there we go that's one of the wires i think that's the ground going to the motherboard and the bottom lid it's free and now let's take a look you see in the middle the white one in the middle it's the wi-fi card and the, those are the antennas you know to the right and of course those so simple the connector just went away i don't know how this is a <laughs> this is a mystery but like i told you this laptop it's getting the floor very often <laughs> that's why i love it it's abused every day but it's still working it's a piece of art i will never give up on this okay so uh, the antenna is connected back in place now we have to try to have a test about that you see that that's the that's the power connector it's looking ugly i know but uh, but it's working 
and it's safe and strong tied to the bottom lid but this time I'm gonna have some better wires some longer wires to connect it to the motherboard but let's put this apart for now and let's focus to the Wi-Fi we have two antennas one you see those orange uh, on the left near my left hand we have one under the hard disk and the other one is on the left of the hard disk and uh, the point is that only one connection is still on the Wi-Fi board the other one is just uh, soldered there because the original connector got lost yeah let's let's check the the antennas by the way these have a really poor Wi-Fi signal those antennas are under the hard disk and it's very close they are very close to the metal parts it's a lot of shielding metal shielding over there I don't know why they did that of course it's much easier to have the uh, to have the antennas uh, closer to the Wi-Fi card on the same board on the same plane I may say but uh, it's not such a good reception okay let's turn it on and see what we can receive I'm using fast.com to have the speed uh, test oh yes oh, we have plenty of Wi-Fi there so that that's a that's a regular 2.4 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi and we have a lot of signal this is good this is great so it's running the, the Wi-Fi card is running and it's up on duty now I'm trying to connect it to a 5G one but I got the feeling that there is a problem because like I told you one of the antenna is soldered on the on the board on the Wi-Fi board and I think there is a problem so I have a 5 giga 5 gigahertz reception but the speed is not great at all so that is a problem with the antenna but I don't care as long as it's running good on uh, 2.4 that's more than enough I like it like I said before this laptop is just for home use and it's nothing fancy about okay so now I have to put all those uh, wires back to the power supply jack and the job is done I'll glue it back in place and uh, I consider that a success doesn't really matter if the 5 gigahertz band is not working as it should bar for the daily needs this is a perfect job thank you for now don't forget to have fun and please like and comment. Bye bye.